I'm Sean Cho. And I'm Micah Daniels. And, and this, this is, is the Shamrock, Shamrock News. News. If you haven't gotten any attention this whole week, give someone around you a high five. Servathon was an event held on January 19th for Martin Luther King Jr., where 14 clubs on our campus participated in it by taking part in a hunger project. Together, we made 400 food bags and 400 hygiene bags to give to the underprivileged people in our community. Each of the food bags had a sandwich, healthy bar, and a water. The hygiene bags contained socks, toothbrush, toothpaste, sanitary wipes, gum packs, and an inspirational note. Thank you to all the volunteers, teachers, and our principal as well for making this project successful. Last Saturday, Kennedy's boys varsity basketball team played against Cypress High School. Although the boys basketball team made a close call, girls basketball revived the Kennedy spirit by winning 39-36. My name is Austin Chris, and I am Mustafa Juma, and we're the captains for the boys varsity soccer team. And next Friday the 6th, we are going to be playing Western High School, so we would love the support of all our Fighting Irish there. Uh, the game's at 3 o'clock, so don't miss out. Here's ASB's Activities Commissioner to give you a word on the game of the week. Hi guys, it's Deborah And it's Jillery. We just wanted to thank all the students who came and supported girls and boys varsity basketball team last week at our rivalry game, our wrestling team on Wednesday, and our girls water polo yesterday. With that said, our next game of the week is... Boys Soccer! It's February 6th at 3 o'clock. It's here at our house. Boys Soccer would really appreciate it if we come and support them in our K-High for Life shirts. Go Irish! In Singapore, the increasing air pollution has taken a toll on the city and its people. Studies show that air pollution kills around 7 million people every year, which is a big health issue that seeks out reform. Asteroid that flew across to Earth on Monday was discovered that it has its own small moon. It was the closest known asteroid this large to pass near Earth. Gas truck exploded on Thursday and leveled part of a maternity and children's hospital in Mexico City. The mayor said two people were killed. The 23 inches of snow that had blanketed Boston by Tuesday night hoisted the storm into the ranks of the 10 worst on the Boston Common. California health officials said Wednesday there are 79 confirmed measles cases in the state, as federal health authorities reported that the number of U.S. cases in 2014 more than tripled any total in recent years. A rare fox was spotted at Yosemite National Park made during a five-day trek through the backwoods of the park. The Yosemite Carnival crew will now scour other cameras for signs of any additional foxes. They're outfitting the cameras with hair snare stations to collect samples for genetic testing. A four-year-old saved both the life of her pregnant mom and her newborn sibling. She called 911 and told the dispatcher that her mother was really pregnant and needed help. New Orleans finds homes for all its homeless veterans. More than 300 mayors have vowed to end military veteran homelessness by the end of 2015. New Orleans celebrated the new year by becoming the first city to do so. Since Super Bowl is coming up this weekend, we asked our students and teachers on campus what their favorite Super Bowl snacks are. My favorite Super Bowl snack is buffalo wings. Hot dogs, nachos, chicken wings. My mom makes a spicy buffalo dip with cream cheese and they eat it with the celery. It's really amazing. It's rad. Uh, what about you? Right. To watch the big game, I like to call it the Super Duper Bowl. And if my Steelers aren't playing in a big game, it doesn't really matter who wins or loses as long as I get my grub on. I like to order me up a couple of pepperoni pizzas, some peanut M&Ms, some chips and dip, and finish it off with a little cheesecake. That's just the way I roll, brother. Now here's a word from some of our clubs and activities on campus. Hi guys, my name is Evan Pasquale. I'm president of Reset Club. Hi, my name is Bridie and I'm secretary of Reset Club. Reset Club is a club that's dedicated to the performing arts, like singing and dancing. Reset Club and Culinary Club are coming together to put on our first performance, which is called Polar Espresso. What it is pretty much is it's a coffeehouse performance with food and drinks, and people can come out and enjoy those while also watching some really nice performances. It'll be held on February 6th, that's a Friday, right here in MP1, and it'll be from 6 to 8 p.m. So make sure to come, we have food. Food is amazing, we know you love food. Bring your friends down and have a good time. We'll have entertainment for you too. Be there guys. Better be there, bye. 
Hey guys, RSVP is holding its next summit on February 6th during fourth period. It will be a debrief of what happened during summit one, as well as creating a timeline so that we can start taking actions to improve the top three issues brought up in the first summit. Make sure to think of ways to improve our school so that you can contribute to the discussion that will take place on the day. Just a reminder, today is the last day of Club Rush, so be sure to check out all the clubs we have to offer on campus today. Don't be a fool. Littering is not cool. Hey juniors, you're invited to attend our 2015 Pirates Adventure Show on March 2nd. Tickets are on sale from now until February 20th, so stop by at the activities window to get your contract and to purchase your tickets. It is $30 with ASB and $35 without. Hurry because there are no tickets sold at the door. Hey Kennedy, don't miss out. Today is the last day to buy your pre-sale tickets for Sadie's. Starting next week, the price will be $60 with ASB and $70 without. Thanks for watching the Shamrock, Shamrock News. News.